Welcome all my fellow Washington brethren and sister. I am your man and resident Washington football fan, Lou. Thank you for joining me here on the Washington Football Report. So I just wanted to come to you guys with a few questions that I have that I want to address on Thursday night's live program. Remember, we're live 830p on Thursday nights every single week uh, for the Washington Football Report live. So I wanted to pose a few questions to give you guys an opportunity to mull over them before Thursday night's show. Now, if you already have the answers to these questions, leave it down in the comment section of this video. I'll read it and we can address them on Thursday night. I'm going to reserve my answers for Thursday night, but I do want to pose these questions to you here so that we can already have this conversation going when we hit Thursday night. So here are the three questions and we're going to start with the first one. I find this one very interesting. If you watched, and I can't assume, and I don't like to assume that you watched the championship games on Sunday, but there were two of them, one in the NFC, one in the AFC. What did you learn about what we may be missing or need by watching championship Sunday? I remember last year watching the championship games and thinking we look nothing like these teams. Like we're so far away. I felt vastly different this year. Don't feel like we're eons away. Don't feel like we're playing in a different league than the four teams that were left last season. So it feels a lot different. And I guess maybe that happens when you actually watched your team participate in the postseason. But that being said, we um, had a chance to see the four best teams in the league participate on Sunday. What did you learn? Coaching staff, players, everyone involved. What did you learn about what we may be missing or what we may need for next season to get to the level that we ultimately want to get to. Uh, the next question that I'm going to pose to you guys, two biggest off-season needs. Look, I, the reason I made it two is because obviously if I would have said, what's the biggest off-season need, you would have went straight to the quarterback position. I'm not going to ask you to accept the quarterback position or other than the quarterback position. I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm going to ask you for the two biggest needs. So if you think the quarterback position is the first one, cool. What's the next biggest need as well? Okay, so the two biggest offseason needs for this team. Don't give me a list of five things. I just want two. What's the two biggest? You got you to gotta narrow it down to two things. Do that, okay? And then lastly, position you are most comfortable with now that you weren't going into the season. I think there were preconceived notions and, and misconceptions about specific position groups going into the season that you may feel a lot more comfortable about now after seeing some players play and seeing some of the depth that we may have. What's the position that you go into the season saying, hey, I wasn't really on board with what we had, but after seeing the players play in this scheme with these coaching, uh, uh, staff members and and what we have been able to get out of certain players that I didn't know what we were going to get or didn't expect to get, I feel a lot more comfortable to the point that if we don't do anything at that particular position, I'd be fine with it because I like what we have. Is there a position for you that you felt some type of way about, wasn't too sure about, a little uneasy about going into the season last year, now heading into this offseason, you feel a lot more comfortable about? So those are the three questions that I wanted to pose to you guys. And again, if you have the answers right now, leave it in the comment section of this video. If not, I look forward to addressing them with you on Thursday night, 8.30 p for the Washington Football Report live. Until then, I'm your man, Louis T. If anything else breaks, we will cover it here on the Louis T Network. More likely than not, no big news will come out of Washington as they are in Mobile for the Senior Bowl as we speak. So I don't anticipate anything big happening in terms of Washington news. But if something should arise, your man Louis T has you covered as always. Until next time, I am a Washington fan, etched in burgundy and gold. My Washington spirit will never die. Washington spirit will never fold. Until we meet again, hail to our beloved Washington football team. Until Thursday night, 8.30 p. 
I'm your man, Louis T, signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Louis T Network.